Picture this. You've just downloaded a brand new game onto your state-of-the-art smartphone, My Singing Monsters. You don't know how to play it yet, but you can't wait to start researching all of the best strategies and guides online. But, hey, wait, what, what's that sound? Well, this stinks. It looks like any helpful information you could find about My Singing Monsters has been wiped from all existence. None of your friends know anything about My Singing Monsters, so you can't ask them anything. If only you owned a smart assistant that could come up with the My Singing Monsters answers you need. Man, is it your lucky day or what? This is an Amazon Alexa. I'm sure you've seen these things around. They're, they're pretty popular. This is my Echo Dot. And just recently, I've started asking it questions about My Singing Monsters and have realized that this thing has no idea what it is talking about, like absolutely no clue. So I've prepared a list of questions here on my phone that I'm going to ask Alexa and we'll see how many of these it can get right. I also made this very epic scoreboard that we'll use to keep track of the correct and incorrect answers throughout the video. Hopefully this is entertaining. If it is, hit like, subscribe, you know, all the stuff and maybe I'll make more. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Alexa. How do I use the breeding structure and nursery in My Singing Monsters? Use the reading structure of nursery in your singing monsters by incorporating nursery rhymes into your gameplay. Nursery rhymes help develop timing, pacing, and reading fluency, which can be transferred to the singing monster's songs. Utilize the rhythmic nature of nursery rhymes to improve reading skills in your singing monsters. How do I get Cold Island in My Singing Monsters? In order to get Cold Island in Singing Monsters, you must reach level 4 and spend 5,000 coins on the purchase. This is a special island that is available to own and collect. Right. Other than this, there is no other way to obtain it. How do I breed Gast on Plant Island in My Singing Monsters? To read the cast on Plant Island in My Singing Monsters, you can follow these steps. Open the game and navigate to the Plant Island. Look for the bookshelf near the fireplace and interact with it by tapping on it. Okay. A pop-up window will appear with a list of books. Okay. Tap on the cast on book to read it and learn more about the history and culture of Plant Island. Okay. The book will also provide additional information and insights into the island's inhabitants and their way of life. Good to know, but that didn't really tell me how to breed it. I, I, I guess maybe I didn't say it correctly. How do I breed Gast in Plant Island in My Singing Monsters? To breed guests on Plant Island in My Singing Monsters, select two three-element plant monsters with different sounds and colors. Tap breed on the main screen. Wait for the pregnancy to finish. What? The guest egg will hatch, and you will receive a guest. The guests will start producing eggs of their own, which you can collect to hatch more guests. Alright, that... <laughs> what should I spend my diamonds on in My Singing Monsters? Diamonds are a valuable currency in the mobile game My Singing Monsters, True. and they can be used to upgrade various structures on the island. Okay. Players should carefully consider their spending decisions and prioritize upgrades that will benefit their gameplay the most. Okay. Some of the most important upgrades to consider are the storage structure, which allows you to store rare and valuable monsters, okay, the breeding correct. structure, which is essential for breeding new monsters, okay. and the nursery, which allows you to grow young monsters to full size faster. Uh, okay, um, that was, that was kind of right. What does a sugar bush do in My Singing Monsters? The sugar bush is a unique and valuable asset in the Singing Monsters series. It has a variety of useful functions and plays a crucial role in the gameplay. As the name suggests, the sugar bush produces sugar, which is a vital resource for breeding and creating new monsters. The sugar can be used to craft items. The sugar bush also provides a soothing melody that can help to calm and relax other monsters in your collection. How do I get keys in My Singing Monsters? To get keys in My Singing Monsters, you need to complete various missions and tasks. These may include breeding and raising certain types of monsters, building and upgrading habitats, participating in multiplayer events and challenges, and fulfilling specific achievement objectives. Additionally, some keys can be obtained through random discoveries in the game or by purchasing them with real money. The keys can then be used to unlock additional content and features in the game. That's pretty close to how you actually get keys. I'm having a hard time decorating my islands in My Singing Monsters. Where should I place my fire bush in My Singing Monsters? Hmm, I don't know that. Oh. <laughs> At least she admitted it this time, guys. When is Epic Monculus available in My Singing Monsters? 
The Epic Monkey List was made available to players of my singing monsters during the out-of-season event that occurred in April. Okay. This rare and coveted list of monkeys includes the Epic Frosty, Epic Lava, oh. and Epic Pirate Monkeys. Only a small number of players were fortunate enough to acquire these monkeys during the event, okay. making it a highly sought-after collection for both fans of the game and collectors. Mm. How do I power up a Wobox in My Singing Monsters? To power up a Roblox in your Singing Monsters, you need to zap all the monsters before selecting the power up option in the monsters menu. What is the best Wobox in My Singing Monsters? In the game My Singing Monsters, there are many Roblox that can be obtained. Roblox. However, it is difficult to determine which one is the best as it depends on personal preferences and gameplay style. Each Roblox has its unique singing voice and attributes, and players should consider their favorite genre of music and the traits they most prefer when choosing which Roblox to breed and collect. I personally like Epic Plant Roblox. That's my favorite. My favorite. What sound does Mammoth from My Singing Monsters make? The mammoth from My Singing Monsters makes a whistling sound as it sings. It is a triple element monster that can be unlocked in the game and is known for its love of water and the ability to shoot jets of it at passersby. <laughs> I love it when mammoth shoots water. What is your favorite My Singing Monsters character? Hmm, I don't know that one. She doesn't play, guys. She doesn't play My Singing Monsters. It's cringe. <laughs> So as you can see, this little this little device is very good at just coming up with bullcrap and giving it to you. And some of it is right, but some of it is not right. So I decided, hey, let's go ahead and give it some bullcrap of our own. Here we go. What is the best cold island in My Singing Monsters? The best cold island in my singing monsters is Ice oh, Isle. It has the lowest hatching rate, but the highest proportion of rare monsters. Ice Isle is recommended for experienced players who want to collect rare monsters and build a powerful roster. Interesting. Alexa, how do I get Ice Isle in my singing monsters? To get the Ice Isle in your singing monsters, you can download the game from the App Store or the Google Play Store. <laughs> True. That is how you get it. How do I get the dipsters on Mythical Island in My Singing Monsters? To get the dipsters on Mythical Island in your singing monsters, you need to feed them until they reach level 15. Once they reach level 15, they will be able to travel to their hometown of Mythical Island. The dipsters are native to the four natural elements and can be fed up to level 15. How do I breed Wobox in My Singing Monsters? To breed Roblox in my singing monsters, you need to have a pair of level 4 or higher monsters from the same island. Okay. Players can then choose to breed the two monsters in the monster nursery, which will result in a baby monster being spawned. The baby monster might have a random trait from either of the two parents, and players can sell or keep the baby monster based on their preferences. What do I do when my monster gets pregnant in my singing monsters? Sorry, I don't know that one. Frick. You mentioned it earlier. What, what do I do? if I can't breed the epic Punkleton on Plant Island in My Singing Monsters. If you are unable to breed the epic Punkleton on Plant Island in your singing monsters, there are a few things you can try. First, ensure that you have a sufficient number of torches on your island, as they can increase the rarity of the monsters you breed. <laughs> what else? <laughs> How do I breed Catalyst in My Singing Monsters on Mythical Island? To breed Catalyst on the Mythical Island, you need to combine Catalyst with Hyia Hay. The resulting offspring will be a weasel. I mean, that's right. That's true. Yeah, you got that. What is the best Bogart in My Singing Monsters? The best Bogart in My Singing Monsters is a matter of personal preference. Each Bogart has its own unique appearance and sound, and the best one for you depends on your individual taste and preferences. Some of the most popular Bogarts in the game include the Bogart, the Snoggerot, and the Froggle. Oh. How many sounds are there in My Singing Monsters? There are 24 different sounds available in My Singing Monsters. Is there any way that I can contact Monster Handler Matt from hit mobile game My Singing Monsters and tell him how much I enjoy his game? 
You can send your comments and feedback to the developers of the game by using the official channels provided in the game. You can contact Monster Handler Matt by leaving a comment on their official social media pages. Okay. I'll do that. I'll probably, I'll probably will do that. So, as you can see, Alexa is very good at answering questions based on the mobile game My Saint Monsters, right? The thing is, though... MeepleMountain.com uh, The namesake of this game... Shh, shh, quiet, quiet, quiet. But it very much feels like it's just pulling crap out of its butt. And... <laughs> and that's, you know, that's okay. Some of it is correct. Some of it is clearly not. But, you know, if, if I were a brand new My Saint Monsters player and this was the only thing that I had to get information about the game, I think I'd be fine. And it's a good thing this isn't the only resource we have to get My Singing Monsters information. I'm honestly really thankful for places like the wiki where I can find accurate information for the things I need whenever I want and... Oh, um, wait, never mind. Someone just changed the breeding combo for Rare Tutu. Now it's Piplash and Gajub. <laughs>